All right. So, just getting ready to start this up for a friend of mine. Um, but, when I went to pull the oil to look at it, you guys probably can't even see it. At any rate, I'm looking in here and smelled it. I seen it. There's fuel in the in the oil. So what that means is the fuel need the needle in the carb has gotten stuck. It's gotten stuck open. So that when you sh even when you shut it off, the fuel that's in the bowl will still come up through and leak down into the cylinders, down through the cylinders into the oil, down in the crankcase. So that's no good. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is, of course, like I said, change the oil. Alright, so on a FB460V Kawasaki on my John Deere, um, I, I say that because I'm not sure what this carb is, it could be a Makuni, um, I really don't, I really don't know, um, I don't know if it's a Makuni, anyway, uh, the one on the left is your throttle, the one on the, no, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, the one on the left is your governor and the one on the right is your throttle so back here that bar right there with the spring on the bottom and all that that's your governor the curved one that goes up and down it goes over here it's your throttle see the linkage connect to that that pulley or that lever system there now let's get to Tearing it apart. Alright, hopefully I can get this in here on my little makeshift table. So I think you'll need a 12 to get the thing off of here. Not off of off the off the mower. Um then you'll need a 10 to get this off. This is a Makuni carb, by the way. Um it says it there. If you can read it. It's not gonna focus. Makuni Corp. I mean, Makuni Corp. That's what this thing says. Alright. Now. Lay this aside. Don't want to lose that. Ew, it's nasty in there. Look at that. That's, that's kind of gross. Glad I took this apart anyway. Ew. And then. Pull this little pin out. I can't see what I'm doing. There's gonna be a little pin where this thing pivots, the float pivots on. There'll be a little pin that holds that in there. Um, hopefully, I won't have to go get the pliers. Sometimes they slide out pretty easy. <laughs> this one doesn't seem to want to, though. Okay. All right, now this is, you gotta, can't lose this stuff. That little pen, I mean, it's small. Do not lose it. You're gonna have a crappy day. As if your day wasn't crappy enough, having gas in your oil. And then here's your float. Yeah, right off camera too. Okay, here's your, <laughs> here's your float and needle. Okay, this will slide right out. You know, come to think of it, I haven't taken this one apart yet. But, uh, they're all the same. So, don't lose that float either. This looks like a steel... Nope, oh, okay, good. This one's less likely to... leak. So you gotta keep that little needle, set that aside. 
some tuna where it's at. Float's not cracked, it still works. This is plastic, so good. I don't like the copper ones because the copper ones seem to like to crack a lot where they're put together. And you gotta try to solder them together if you want to, and that's never worked out right. You gotta always buy a new float for them. I haven't had a problem with these plastic ones yet. Which is funny because most people don't like plastic. Alright. So now, we got that little. You might not be able to see it, but. Oh, yeah, you can. Right here. That's where this thing, this seat goes. I'm going to go ahead and clean all of this up. So, I'll get back with you when I do. Alright. Um, I went ahead and took the main jet out as well. <laughs> Cleaned it out. Main jet, if you don't know, goes in here. It just it usually can screw in and out. You can change it out to different sizes if you if you do any kind of performance runs, like if you want to race or pull or something with your tractor or, or any anything you got with a carburetor. It's all the same. But yeah, the main jet, just screw that back in there. If you didn't screw it out, whatever doesn't matter. And just clean out these little bits in here. I actually have never taken this one apart. This is off my John Deere. I've taken other ones apart, but not this one specifically. I thought I cleaned it last year, but that must have been my MTD. Which I got rid of. Traded it for a moped. Traded the moped for 500 cash. Traded the 500 cash from a motorcycle that's behind me. Now that's wheeling and dealing. I'm very happy with that. But that's not what we're talking about here, is it? Need a little help. A little screwdriver. Probably did half of this off camera, I'm sorry. But uh, I mean, you, once you take it apart, you'll understand how it works by yourself. You wouldn't need my video to tell you. What you gotta do though is if you had that gas in your oil, you gotta look down there and see if there ain't nothing there. Do the best you can to clean it out. It doesn't have, hopefully it doesn't happen again. If it persists. Hmm. Maybe looking at rebuild it if you can or just get a new carburetor. Some carburetors you can't rebuild that part of it. See, like this one has a rubber seal on both sides. I can, I can redo this one if I wanted. Not likely that I would though. There we go. Put that pin back in there again. I probably did that off camera. I'm sorry. Okay. Bowl, I got it a little bit cleaner. Not a whole lot. That, that crap wouldn't come out without scraping it. It's not. I don't really have anything right now to clean it thoroughly. Let's see. This will sit here. Put that there. Just put it back together. There's really nothing to it. to be tight just kind of snug snug it up I'm sure all your stuff's clean and working mine is my springs are all good and intact and working got all my parts back together now I can put it back on the tractor
car from that because I just cleaned it. <laughs>